Welcome to the Sewing Whisperer. This video is a beginner's tutorial on creating dashed stitch brushes for fashion text sketches in Adobe Illustrator. We'll be creating single, double and triple stitch brushes which can then be applied to a fashion text sketch. Brushes are such a time-saving important tool when drawing text sketches. Be sure to follow along and check out the other videos in this playlist. The link is listed in the description below. So you can see on these shorts that I've applied a flat lock brush around some of these seams. And I've actually changed the line on the hem to a double stitch brush. So I've got my brushes open here and you can see this is the flat lock brush that I've created and this is the twin needle or double dash that I've created in there. So let's set up a file for brushes ourselves and create some brushes. So we'll go File, New, go to Print, find A4. If you can't see it there, view all presets and locate A4. Set the points to centimeters and make sure it's on portrait and leave the rest as default and create. So now we'll turn on the grid. So view, show grid and we'll turn on rulers. I generally use the keyboard shortcut of Command or Control R, but you find it view rulers, show rulers. You can right click in there and check that it is on centimeters and you can always swap back to inches, millimeters, centimeters by just right clicking within your rulers. So we know that that's set on centimeters. Let's save the file, so file save and save it to a sensible place where you know you can retrieve it and we'll just call it brushes and save. So now that you've got that saved, let's open the brush palette. So window, it's in alphabetical order. So A, B, B for brushes. And we want to delete some of the default brushes that have um, come in here. So we want basic to stay there, but click on the top one, hold shift, click on the bottom one, drag them into the trash can. So we're going to add a whole lot of stitches in here as we create them. Now we'll zoom up on one of the squares of the grid because it's going to be a pretty small line that we draw. And we'll get the line segment tool. Just click on the screen and in here type 0.1 centimeters, set the angle to zero and OK. Mine's defaulting because I've already used it previously when I was practicing. So we'll say OK. Now let's zoom up and have a look at the settings on this. So we need to change some things. So we don't want any fill. So if that's defaulted to the default colors, we don't want any fill. We just want black stroke on that line. We want to change the stroke weight in the stroke palette to 0.75. So it's just a little bit smaller. And we're going to set the cap to, because at the moment it's got a very sharp end. So we're going to set that to round and then the corner to round. The reason we do that is it looks much more like a stitch. So once we've got all those settings um, set up, we can now create the brush. So with the line selected, come over to the brush palette and you can click the little plus. And in here, we need to choose pattern brush and okay. Then we're going to call this single stitch. And we need to set the outside corner. So if we're drawing a pocket or something, we'd know that the corner would line up and we want auto centered and the inside corner to auto centered as well. And we need to change the colorization method from none to tint. And that lets us change the color if we want to change the color of the dashed line at any time. Okay, so now let's test that brush. So we'll just draw a line it's a bit longer than the line we've been working on. And then we'll pick on the uh, brush. Okay, so there's one thing that we haven't done that I've missed here. So let's double click on there and we needed to set the spacing to 30% and that will separate the dashes and okay. So it's just saying apply to strokes. Um, so apply the changes to the strokes. So that's corrected that now and we've got a dash between our stitches. Okay, let's now go on and create uh, a twin needle stitch. So we'll just select that same line, 
hold Option or Alt and drag a copy down just so we're going to create a brush below there. And then we want to move this brush um, the same distance as the length. So we're going to use the Move tool. You can get to the Move tool three ways. You can go Object, Transform, Move, or you can right click, Transform and Move. So Transform, Move, or you can use the shortcut keys, Command, Shift, M. So I'll click on Move there. And now we're going to set this to Move at point 0.1. So the distance here will type point 0.1 and we want it to move in the 270 degrees direction. Now you can preview that to see if it's going to go down the right amount, which it is, and this time we're going to select not just OK, we're going to select Copy. So that's now reproduced that line, set down at a sensible distance. So we're going to use the black selection tool, select the two lines, and now we'll create a new brush. So hit the plus, pattern brush, OK, and we'll call this double stitch and we'll set everything as we did before so auto centered on the outside corner and the inside corner we'll set the colorization method to tints and we'll put the spacing at 30 percent and okay so now let's test that so we'll just select the line we've already got hold option or alt and drag a copy down and then click on the new brush now we could also create a third brush, which would be a triple stitch. So if you're going to use a cover stitch machine, you do have the option to put three needles in. So let's create that brush. So we'll copy those two lines down that we've already created. Hold Option or Alt to drag them down. We'll click the bottom line and we'll bring up the Move tool again. So you can right click, Transform Move and We'll set it to the same settings as before. I'll just set everything back to one and I'll put point 0.1 and the direction is 270. And we can preview to make sure that's going in the right direction, which it is, and then click copy. So now we'll create a brush the same way as we did before. Select the three lines, a new brush, pattern brush. Okay, we'll call this a three needle stitch. We'll set our auto centered corners for inside and outside corners. Set the, set the spacing to 30% and the colorization method to tints and OK. Now we'll test that brush. So select the line above, hold Option or Alt, drag it down and then click on the three lines. So now we've created three brushes, single, double and triple stitch and save the file so that you've got that to come back to at any time. And that's how we create our straight stitch brushes. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and give this a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos.